But wow, guys. We live in this house now. Can you believe it? We just don't have furniture. We just, it's not decorated. Big plans. Big plans coming today. They're on the way. Welcome back to Block Work Hard Mode. It is uh, part 18. Today is a big day. We're going to be doing quite a lot. We are going to make some changes, okay? It's been several episodes since I built this house, and I am kind of wanting to build another new house. I need to be prepared. Oh, somebody's sleeping. Oh my gosh, let me help that out. We need to work a lot. Probably gonna reach level 10 in the cashier at BFF Supermarket today. Maybe start even another new job. That's how much I'm probably gonna work today because I need a lot of money for this house that I'm about to make. Yeah, but we're building our third, I believe this is going to be our third house. Okay, my moods are all filled up. I just took care of them. Um, let me skip that for you. I had a really cold shower. It was very unpleasant. I gotta pay my bills. There we go. Now we go to work. We run to work. But yeah. Oh, yeah. I spawned over here. So this is nice. Oh, I'm gonna get rid of the entire thing. I'm so ready for another new house. It has been like a little while since we lived in this one. So yeah, as long as we spend a good amount of time in each house we build, I think it's perfectly fine. I'll see you guys when this work shift is over. Actually, I might just like, you know, montage or something. I don't know. And so my final last moments in this retail job continue. Yes, I just uh, decided to speed everything up because work is not fun to watch. You can see kind of my methods here. Like I've been doing this job for quite a bit. I know all of the details about it. I can understand each of these jobs a little bit more and how they exactly work. So the first day I made about $3,000. I went over to Pizza Planet to grab a slice of pizza because I was, I was on the brink of death, as you can see. I went all the way back home to fill up my moods again, and I just went back to bed and waited for the next day to happen. I did not have a social life. Worked, went home, took care of everything, went to bed the entire time, and rinse and repeat each and every single day. And the next day, I made $3,344. Okay, and that wraps up day three, I think. Day three of working or day four. And also, at the same time while I was working, my gardening skill went up to level four. So I really was multitasking. Pretty great. I must say, I need to go grab another slice of pizza before I die. But each day has been pretty good. I, I mean, I, I'm kind of surprised I got 3,000 this day because I was kind of like multitasking, talking to people and stuff. I was not fully in the work, but I still made the same amount of money pretty much. Let's go home though. Let's go home. And I did not get cashier to level 10, but I am very, very close. We are 82%. I think I only need to do it like 20 more times. So, eh, that's okay. That's okay. We have $10,000. Yes. Okay, I'm, I can't wait to show you guys what kind of house I want to build. All right, we have money. We have money. I've worked for three days straight in this game. All I've done is go to work, um, come back home, eat a slice of pizza, and then fill out my moods and sleep. Like, that's all I've been doing this past few days. I have no social life whatsoever, which is okay because everyone's minding their own business. I'm thinking we build something like this. I believe this is a two-story house, but maybe we can do like a one-story version of it. I mean, most of it kind of feels like a one-story anyways, but I really want to build this. It's like a very manor type house. Yeah, it's definitely possible. I feel like we could do this, have some fake decal, like have fake paintings of windows on like the side of the gable roof. And I do love the colors on this too. Like the colors are very neutral as well. So, and that landscaping is beautiful. Although mine will probably not look like this at all. Alright, so let's go into build mode now and get rid of, not get rid of, but we must go ahead and destroy this home. We're doing it one by one. I I almost forgot we had to um, delete it one by one. We can't bulldoze it exactly, so. We will be keeping some things though. I mean, I might keep these trees, like, they're just trees. I'm just gonna keep them. Might as well keep this beekeeping house. Like, I'm keeping this punching bag because um, I can't even unlock that yet, so I'm keeping it. Need to keep our like, skill up stuff because why not? Oops. Maybe we'll get a new bed. I feel like we definitely need a new bed. I'll keep this mirror. I don't know. It looks expensive. Probably isn't. I'll just do a speed up of me deleting everything. Why not? You know? I deleted um, the entirety of the build, so um, there's no going back. There's really no going back because I actually exited build mode, so I definitely can't get that back. But we have $30,000. Not as much as I was thinking um, because I feel like uh, if I were to delete more of these furniture items, I probably would have near like 35k, maybe 40k. I don't know. I needed to keep some stuff for sure. Like my trees, I mean the trees are reasonable. Most of them are reasonable, okay? I'm keeping my wash and dryer. I already wasted money on that. 
So let's go ahead and get started on this house. Uh, once again, using the, the... The distance between the sidewalk and the house is very, very important because that will determine your entire, like, setup for your landscaping. So you have to make sure. Yeah, I'm gonna start right there, but I'm gonna draw out the floor a little bit. Like, I... This pathway that they have is, like... It's kind of like a rich people vibes. It is a manor. I, I'm pretty bad with points for some reason, so we shall see how this turns out. Maybe we could do something like this. That's $185, not the worst. We can fix it up, okay? It looks a little goofy at the moment, but we can definitely fix it up just by you know, just doing little things around. Okay, that's that's all right, you know? I'm going to slate it up. Just a little goofy. Just don't look at the actual... Okay, part of me wants to start it right here, actually. Like, right there. And then we go in. Have this be, like, the front door right here. Like a porch. We have a little porch that comes out. We have, like, a small piece that will come out. Oh, this house is huge. Like, the house is long. It's pretty long. Oh, God. Okay, and then the garage will be like right here. We will have a proper garage in the front like this. Do I need that big of a garage? Okay, at least we'll have enough space as well to have like a little driveway here if needed. Yeah, I think there will be a driveway here. Gonna be a lot of gable roofs by the way. This house is literally like the personality of this house is gable roof. So it's perfect for this, for my style and this series. Okay, I don't know the rest of this house. I'm basing it off the front of that photo, but I have no idea what else could be like part of the house. Okay, there is a floor plan, but I don't know if I want to follow it. There's so much going on entry foyer living room the right of this is a dining room this is going to be our dining room right here oh that living room is supposed to be a lot smaller hold on let me make the living room a little bit smaller the living room is going to be like yeah that big we'll just have it like reasonably sized there a little hallway oh my gosh okay this is going to be my bedroom right here or something we're going to put the bedroom like here okay so when you enter the house living room to your left another like doorway frame you go through this is going to be my bedroom and then i'll have an ensuite bathroom I have my ensuite bathroom like right here, two by three. And I have to make sure like the back is pretty decently shaped as well because I don't want it to be just like flat. So I need like little bumps out randomly here and there and too. Okay, I think on the side here, I will have, there will be a bump out. Okay, there will be a bump out. There might be another bump out here too. Why not? You know, I feel like might as well just give the rooms a bit more shape so they're not just completely square. Honestly, I kind of like the shape of it so far. Like this is actually, this is a really, it's a big house from what it looks like. And it's not even costing too much. The shape always never costs that much. It's like the roof and the windows and the doors, like the actual walls do not cost that much much you could have a big house but it's empty that's why that's why you see so many big builds that are empty the walls are that affordable but buying everything else is not okay so this is gonna be there's supposed to be like another like living room or something right here like how in the world am i going to fit it's two living rooms there's supposed to be one living room here another apparently living room there where's my kitchen going to go like is this going to be my this is my kitchen right here oh my god apparently the kitchen is like a diagonal oh gosh oh i'm gonna cry i'm gonna cry trying to decorate this kitchen I want a reasonably sized kitchen, so we're gonna like make that a little bit smaller bedroom I'm probably gonna turn this into another bedroom if I'm gonna be honest like maybe an office actually Maybe this could be my skill up room. This can be my bedroom with an ensuite bathroom a, a living room can properly go here This is my kitchen. This would be a long hallway. Maybe I can hang up some bread art What are we doing over here now? This is the garage. This might be like who knows this might be like another type of Oh, this could be my laundry area, actually. Hold on. Let me move some stuff. I'm doing this in hard mode? How am I gonna- Wait, how am I gonna- <laughs> Kitchen to end off like this. Okay, I might just make the kitchen, like, a square. Because then it'll be easier to roof it, probably. I hope. I don't know what this is. Like, what? Maybe this can be my pantry or something. Kitchen and pantry. Sure, why not? Yeah, I think that's our shape, guys. I think we'll be able to manage with this. We just need to roof it, add windows, um, color, texture, and all of that. I think we- We, th we have it. I think this is it. This is our shape. That's kind of crazy. It's a little crazy. It's definitely a big upgrade from what we were living in. Um, so let's go ahead and do a little porch here. We can't actually make a porch because we don't have basements. We don't have <laughs> we don't have any game passes to make a porch. You need game passes to make a porch, sadly. Let's go ahead and get started. Let's roof the house. Personality is the gable roof. Oh, actually though, like the gable roof for the porch. No, I'm telling you, the gable roofs are a little they're gonna be crazy, okay? I was not kidding when I said the gable roofs are going to be wild. Nice, another gable roof. Oh man, okay, wait. I'm gonna put some uh, slanted pieces in front so it details it a bit. Now we just need to cover up like, we need to cover up this piece in the middle and then these are easy right here. I'm just gonna stick like a gable roof through these. Yeah, this is easy to cover, just do this. It's like kind of like this one story mansion in a way. I don't know if you call this a mansion. I feel like this is a mansion, but like maybe not. Maybe a man should be more of this space. 
We're definitely, oh my gosh, it's gonna be another house where I can't fully decorate it, unfortunately. And it's kind of like, in a way it makes sense. Like I can't, <laughs> I don't think I can. I did not pillar the corners. You would think after building the third house, I would learn to have put the, the pillars where they should have been. We're gonna have to work so much. I'm gonna just have to do like an entire montage of me just working, flat out working, you know? We need a new bed. I'm sorry. We just need a new bed. I need a double bed now. I think I've gone long without a double bed. So we're going to need... Can, I can survive. Why does it keep flipping? Hello? What? You see that? I'm trying to place it normally. Okay. What? <laughs> My game's haunted. Oh gosh. If I so dare put it up against the wall, it's going to like flip around. Oh, there we go. Okay, I did it. Uh, punching bag. Where's my skillet room? This is my office. So there, this will be my skillet room. So we can move our supplies. I don't know why it's doing that. What is happening? Like if I put up against the wall, it's going to like... It's weird. This game's weird. This is our garage apparently. So um, we might have to draw a little path. I didn't even figure out my windows yet. I'm gonna have to buy so many windows for this house. Oh, we have to start a new job soon too. So I will not even be making that much money quickly. This is hard mode. This is hard mode. Welcome to Blockwork Hard Mode, guys. This is officially... Oh my gosh, my house is oversized and for what reason? This is crazy. I didn't even do a backyard yet. I feel like we'll do an upgrade, like um, an extension eventually later. Um, I just, uh, I need to, I need to, I need to get this, like, make that a fake window. Let's just, let's just try that. Let's try making this a fake window. Let's just put the decal, decal on it. Oh my gosh, this is, this is insanity. Oh, this house is something else this is a weird house but don't worry about it this is exactly what it looks like okay it's fine uh let's get it like a creamy color house will be a wheat color maybe like a khaki colored house khaki colored home like this Ooh. <gasps> Ooh. oh okay what about shingles hold on okay maybe i don't maybe i want shingles do i want shingles hold on this i'm gonna undo Oh, this gave me, you know the Bloxington Mansion? Yeah, I'm getting Bloxington Mansion vibe. Like, I'm gonna keep it roof tiles for now. Oh, this is still a bit, it's just, it's still a bit, um, it's still a bit much, you know, here and there. No, why is the color not working with me now? I do not, I don't know if I like this now. I'll figure out, don't worry, I'll figure out the color, a better color for this. Oh, maybe that's it right there, beige. Oh, maybe it's a beige. This is our house now. Okay, okay, I've settled. I've settled. That ha this has to be it. I can't be changing any more colors. We have $8,000 now. We have our house colored and textured roof and walls wise. We just need a few more windows. But like decorating it, we still gotta do that. We still have to... Landscaping, we still gotta do that. Um, there's, there's a lot of work to be done with this house still. Like, tons and tons of work. Let's get necessities. So these, like, little lights out here. So people can, like, whoever shows up, they can see where the front door be. And maybe I need some wall trims, too. Yeah, we need wall trims for sure. I don't know what color. Another color to decide. Jeez. Okay, there we go. That's what we needed. And lastly is these wall trims. Okay, there we go. Like, guys, wow. Like, our exterior is really nice. It's just empty after this, though. Oh, yeah, this is our garage. So I need to add a garage door. I forgot the garage door. I think I'll have a two-door garage. We might as well. Yeah, that's probably our best bet. Yeah, that's that's looking a little bit nice. Okay, we need hedges. Hedges are for sure need. Ew, no, no, no. Just use the fence tool. Just use the fence tool hedges. Okay, we'll just do that hedge. We'll do like a hedge. Oh, maybe I could do like a little thing here. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Nice. And it's only $40, so it's not the worst. I guess we're doing a full-on exterior for this hard mode episode. We're doing a full-on exterior. I'm gonna outline this pathway too, actually. Because this pillar. It's this pillar in the way. That's gonna bother me. Huge, huge, huge house. And there's supposed to be a chimney as well too. Um, We can buy it. I don't know if we should right now. I will probably do that like later. Um, we need, pri we have priorities here. Okay. Okay. Let's go and floor up every single room now. Let's finally do interior. Let's do some interior now. Okay. We did a lot of exterior. Let's at least like floor out. Let's put floors in all of these rooms because um, we're not sleeping on grass. No, no grass. Okay, cool. We have floors. No grass inside. Okay. I'm trying to use vertical planks as a flooring, but maybe not. Maybe I just use like plank, plank. I, I wouldn't mind this, to be honest. Like, it's kind of 
Interesting. Big old carpet. I need doors! <gasps> I need doors and frames! Okay, frame here. The frame into the living room. Is there a big frame? Yeah, because I need to add this to here. Yep, I'm already I'm already out of money. I'm already out of money. I'm out of the money. Okay, well now we can access all of our rooms, which is great. Now we are only left over with 138. So we have a bedroom, we have a bathroom. <laughs> we don't have a kitchen! <laughs> Guys, in a way, this is a lot worse. <laughs> our appliances, our kitchen. I, I'm so done. I'm done. Okay, you know what? This whole video is just building. This is this Blockburg hard mode episode is just purely built of exterior. The next video will be maybe interior or something. I, I think that's what we might do. How are we going to eat? We're going to have to just order food or something. We don't have lights. We don't have lights at all. Okay, what if I title this starting over in Blogbird Hard Mode? Because we are starting over. Like, this is legit. We have a new house. It's just we're starting over with our furniture again. <gasps> I can't. This is this is hilarious. I I have no words. I should have kept my kitchen appliances. I should have at least kept like the basic stuff I needed to live. My ensuite bathroom is dead. yeah yeah. At least I have this. On energy and hygiene, I just don't have hunger, so we have to work for fridge stuff again. And you know what makes it even worse? I'm 98% in the cashier job, and I only have one more little thing to do. I get promoted but look at this though this is great we have a two-door garage in hard mode I mean it's about time to be honest but wow I look at it though this is great okay I won't work I think this is the end of the video <laughs> this is the end of the video but wow guys we live in this house now Can you believe it we just don't have furniture we just it's not decorated actually really like it I'm I'm very happy with it very very happy um next video i'm gonna figure out my money we'll finish up cashier we'll do the stalker next at bff supermarket and then um just get some more money for more furniture but we pretty much have our house down it's great i love it i mean i can go inside and show you but what's the point when there's nothing in here like <laughs> there's literally nothing inside any of these rooms pretty much like i have my bedroom and yeah this is like peak move in but i have no money to furnish my house it's gonna be nice though like once we get it all down it will be a dream come true and i feel like yeah it's gonna be it's gonna be something yeah anyway guys that will wrap up today's hard mode episode some big changes are definitely happening i was not kidding if you guys did enjoy this episode though make sure to give it a big old thumbs up hit the subscribe button if you didn't already and i will see you guys in the next video bye okay now i feel like this series is a bit more interesting like a one-story mansion you would i could consider this like a mini mansion